This week on Archer's Choice. Head out to Utah to KRO, Curl Ranch Outfitters. Yes. I could see those elk coming off that mountain, coming out of that thick covering. Thank you, Lord. KRO, baby. I see time. Holy fuck. He's a big fan. What do you say? You like the beam and fly. Wait, get him where it hurts. This is a beautiful bear. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, well, we're heading a little more west and a little north. Yeah, we're gonna head out to Utah to KRO, Curl Ranch Outfitters. Yes, Clint and Greg. Yes. And Utah, you know, that's the home state for Hoyt and Browning and Easton. Yeah, I mean, there's a all- A bunch of our fellow brothers there. Yeah, no and doubt. Sisters. And sisters. And we're gonna be chasing some elk, and this yes. year, I have a bull tag and you have a cow tag. So it's gonna be kind of fun, don't you think? So we should just get going. She got another bull tag. Eh, you know what happens, what are you gonna do? The first year that you guys had us out, there was a, a, a bull tag available. Vicky got it. The second year, we incredibly both drew, which never happens, right? And I shot a bull on a, the tags that we drew. And now it's my turn to shoot a bull. And then this year, you guys got another bull tag and you gave it to Vicky. The, the, you you, you see, shot a bull last year, I didn't. But, but wait a minute, we, we no, both minute. drew last year. I have a bull to go shoot. We both drew. I'm letting and, him argue this out. I'm not getting involved. And, and you, sons it of a gun, are standing there next to her, not saying a word. I think well, it has something to do with that Italian hair coming out of your chest there. Oh, don't make fun of my heritage. I think that's what that is. Yo, hey, huh? What are you talking about, huh? <laughs> no, it looks like we no, seriously, I mean, it's not fair. I mean. Well, life isn't fair, Al. They're yeah. just trying wow. To Wow. No, go on, Greg. Throw it out there, too, big guy. I just think we like Vicky better than you. I mean, I, I didn't want to say it like I mean, that. I tried to, and I, you know, I mean no offense. With with These all due respect. Friends. Bless, bless your heart. Too, right? Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> you can say anything you want to somebody, as and long bless, as you follow us, bless, yeah, heart. bless your heart. Yeah. So in other words, you just heart. kicked me in the groin, <laughs> threw me out, put me on the truck, dragged me up the mountain, and said, hey, bless your heart. <laughs> Bless his heart. Yep. We, this is why we come to KRO. It ain't just about the hunt because that's all theirs. And then some, and then some, and then some. It's got great hunting. And you get abused mentally like you've never, ever dealt with before. It's all right though. I, I do have a cow voucher. So I'm cow hunting. We're gonna be low and ready to go. Chad's gonna be over in that tree, in that blind. Clint, Greg, what are you doing to me? But I'm actually in a water hole where you could see that the elk have been here wallowing and it's an awesome setup. I mean, if they come in, it's gonna be right here, right to there. And then Chad's right over there in that ground blind. I think it's right there. Yeah, right there. You know what? I think last year we actually had elk in this area. The only thing we got hope for is our wind keeps blowing the right way. Right now that wind is blowing in my face. That's the only bad part. But if it happens, they're gonna be at like point blank 10 yards. Well, it's our first sit here at KRO, Curl Ranch Outfitters in Utah. And I'm sitting at one of my favorite spots. Two years ago, I had a cow voucher and I shot a big old cow elk right here, right over there. Last year, I drew my bull tag and I shot a bull way up over that way. This year, I got another cow voucher. Did I tell you the reason I got the cow voucher? Because Vicky got a bull tag.
you know, being up in that set with, you know, the wind in our, pretty much in our favor, I could see those elk coming off that mountain, coming out of that thick cover and coming out. There's nothing like hearing your first bugle of the year. A couple things going through my head. I got a cow tag. Right. You have a bull tag. Yep. And here's a nice bull and here's here's some cow elk and, and they're active and do I, sh do I take an opportunity? Do I shoot a cow or do I wait? And maybe we get you in that, you know, for later on. Right, but at the same time, there were so many eyes. You'd have had you a hard move. time drawing back anyway. You could so, not move. So, but it was a great experience, wasn't it? Oh, it was, it? Gr it was unbelievable. You know, we were doing whitetail tactics for elk and, and I, mean, how, uh, I mean, how cool is that? That's very cool. We did learn another valuable lesson. What's and that? that was, even though what we needed to do is we needed to brush in better. Right. Because even though, you know, elk normally don't look up, when there's that little Italian up there, you know, it's sticking out of like just nowhere. You really, I, I mean, I had, I, there were eyes everywhere. Yeah. What'd you see? Oh, we saw some does in Nearlands. I heard my first bugle for the this year. And then I heard brush breaking, and then I go, oh, there's one cow, there's two cows, there's three cows, oh, there's the bull, <laughs> beautiful six by six, come right underneath me. Oh, that figures. <laughs> right underneath me. That figures. 12 yards, Tw 10, 12 yards. Oh, wow. You didn't shoot her? It, it couldn't. couldn't move. Oh. They were looking hard. Sure, yeah, as usual, I'm scouting for you again, honey. <laughs> Yep. Appreciate you scouting for that bull tag of mine. Yeah, sure. That's awesome. Yeah. And you didn't shoot a cow, so you didn't mess up the area for me. No, I didn't do anything <laughs> against for you, honey. At all. That's true love. Yeah, That's shut true. up. Let's go. Let's leave him alone. So Greg's been watching these bulls, and mm -hmm. he said, you know, they're up on this big hill. This, we got to get up there before sunlight and wait and see as they're coming back up out of the green fields. They're going to go up into this to bed. So mm -hmm. they're going to go to, there's draws on each way, but if we get to the top of the hill where he's been seeing them in the morning, that's where we need to get to. I'm up over this ridge. Okay. What they usually does is he comes up and comes down into here and beds in these maples. Okay. So I'll get set up on just on the outside here. Get you set up so your wind is dumping off this way. Okay. So just getting these maples right here. Yeah. Probably up the side, obviously, so our wind dumps that way. Yeah, there's some sage brush, but there are some of these big buck brush that you can We can hide just kind of hide behind and yeah. just wait, try and get them to come by.
he's just like looking around. He kept going in between the two bushes up there. He just doesn't want to come. He was mad at her. He was mad. He barked at her. Come here. Come on. And she's she's like. Because yeah. then he comes back up and he looks over again. And he's like. Oh. And he goes. Oh. And he like bugles. I was like. Oh. That bull on that ridge. He just. He must have cows over there. Huh? He wasn't coming. Yeah, I think if we'd had like a little herd of Montana decoys set up. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> we might be able to do that. We might have enough. You know, one of the key things is like we've said before, is that if you only have a certain amount of days to hunt an area, is that scouting. Oh, scouting so, you know, is I mean, so important. Your glassing is a huge part when you go out west. You need to sit there and take the time and glass. And that's what we were doing. We mm -hmm. were sitting there glassing, trying to figure out where these bulls went that morning. Strategy. Where we were going to hunt them to possibly that afternoon. And, and we did. And then we did a little hiking, did a little more scouting. And then we came upon a cow pie with a stick in it. It's a cow pie on a stick. Pick it up. <laughs> Do you want a bite? <laughs> it's a cow pie on a stick. I'll leave that for the next generation. So I'm walking and I look down and there's a cowboy on the ground. And then I found his horse. You found the lost cowboy. <laughs> He's been missing on this hair ranch for years. <laughs> Found the Lone Ranger. Hey, why were you late this afternoon? Like, I don't know why. <laughs> Toy Story 7. <laughs> On any typical elk hunt, mm -hmm. you find out where they're feeding and you know where they're bedding. And, right. and you guys did. I mean, you were watching them. Those, all those elk were down in, in the green meadows. Yep. They slowly started to work up. And he said they'd been going up on top of that ridge, but then they go down into into the uh, ravines and mm -hmm. the canyons there. So that's what we were hoping for. It sounds like a good one bugling over here behind us, coming out of the field. So, so we have Greg down there with Martha. He's gonna do some cow calling. This is the main trail. We're gonna hold tight and see what happens. We got, probably have to have a bunch of cows pass us before that bull shows up, but we'll just keep our fingers crossed. Well, 
we just got in our stand. Chad and I hiked up the draw. Wind's in our favor. It's coming from the timber down the valley. Two nights ago, we sat here. The stand was out a little different angle. We didn't have a lot of cover. And I had a bull, cows and calves come in. And we just couldn't move, man. They pinned us. So what we did, the next day, we came and we brushed this all in. We let it sit for a night. We put our spy points out. We had a bull in here. Wow, I think two different bulls wallowing. So we're just gonna sit here patiently. We've got the wind in our favor. And as I've always said, it's time to rock and roll. You know me, once I find a spot I sort of like, I'm, I'm sticking to it. Oh yeah, yeah, you're not gonna move up. When he no. feels comfortable in a spot and he has a good feeling, he's not going anywhere. So so we actually hiked in even further just because I didn't want any noise, any scent. Or, we, we, we went up there and I had two bulls come in and they started fighting and they were literally like right Almost there. Almost underneath. They were all right there. And but I'm of course there. you don't have a moose tag. No, and I don't, no, of course I, I don't, not. I don't even have the bull elk, bull elk tag, tag either. either. No. Were there any cows around you right there? No, of course not. Of course not, because you had a cow tag. Well, it's our last afternoon here at KRO in Utah Hunt and Elk. I've got my bull tag still. Craig and I and Dan, we're gonna, we're hoping we hear the bull that's been up here with these cows, and then we can go ahead and get a move on them. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Last afternoon. You know, the reality of it is, is most of the hunting shows you watch, everybody shoots something. Yeah. And that the, ain't hunting. And, and reality of it is, is that we actually all eat a lot of tag soup. And oh, it's not very yes. tasty. Extra salt and pepper actually doesn't help any whatsoever. Not at all. No, no. But this, this week was kind of a crazy thing because of the way I had the bull tag, you had the cow tag. He oh, had bulls by him and I had cows by me. So, I mean, that's just the way it goes. Right. Yeah. But hey, Clint, Greg, thank you guys so much for your hospitality. We really appreciate you having us come out there again. And we will see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the, on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Maybe I'll do you, have a bull day. Do you think Clint and Greg will let us back out? We didn't shoot an elk. They have plenty of them. Oh, man, they got lots. I know. But they told me that you could no longer get a get a bull tag. They're so full of bananas. You're full of bananas. You're, you were cut I'm off. Not you were cut out off. of there. Yeah, you were. No. They said, Ralph, so. you got the bull tag now. No, I think they said you're full. Never mind. I can't say that on TV. Sorry.